Hello, we're gonna give a hand bug back to those Pokemon with Fire Red. <sighs> we'll be finally be able to catch one of these. Signed point to maybe. A very high maybe. And bad more so leaning towards no and then yes. Oh my god, I did it. Yes. They several eggs a day. Eggs are apparently rich in nutrients and extremely delicious. Would that be a matter of opinion? But oh well. Hmm. Let's hope we run into a scyther there. And then my day would be complete, but no. Now let's go into Glitch City. Except not really. Instead, let's continue where we left off last time, because we have some more bikers to deal with. But I think catching that Chansey was enough of a diversion to... something. I'd like to do in any case. But yeah. I was gonna say, I think I already beat you, but there's no getting rich quick on battling kid. Or battling kids. It may have sounded like it was advice to me, but it wasn't. Raw! That certainly is a name that you don't hear very often. If it in fact is a name, which I believe it might not be, but who am I to judge? I'm not gonna wonder how to come up with half of these names. Or maybe you don't have to wonder, but I don't know. I'd like to. Focus energy. Good, that means you won't be any threat whatsoever. And now I can take you out without any problems. There we go. Burned out. Man. Whoa. I do want to fight you. Let Voltorb electrify you. Oh, third gen. You and your Pokemon names in all caps. Yeah, I realize I actually have a ground type move on this Pokemon. Hooray! <laughs> can it knock them out though? Yes, it can. I was kind of expecting that because Fortop doesn't have the greatest defenses or any good defenses to speak of, but. Yeah. I figured I wouldn't count my chickens before they hatched. Right, charge, whatever. Dig, go. Alright. <laughs> ground it out. If we just said ground it down, then it would have been uh, a reference to that one song from the anime. Except I wasn't a Marowak. <gasps> Zeke! Spelled probably the weirdest way ever. Hello, Machoke. I have missed you, I guess. No, I haven't. You're weird. Because you have re random red stripes on your arm. And, oh god. Luckily, it was an idiot and used Foresight. Because, yeah, they do have guts and. If it would have used any other move, it probably would have knocked me out there. 
Luckily, it was a set. It didn't, cause it's stupid. We're gonna go thirty-seven. Helping hand. That's an awful move. Would only be okay in double battles, and I don't really plan on getting into many double battles in this game. That's Emerald is gonna have a lot of double battles, not this one. Be a rebel, like a boss, I guess, or like a cue ball. I don't really know what cue ball means. Just referring to the fact that they're bald? Yeah, actually, that probably is it. I can't believe I just now came up with that. And I'm barely going to love this. Hooray for Seismic Toss. Doing a set amount of damage that's less than my HP. Or. Yeah, less than my total amount of HP. Choke, I'm gonna keep you in, but I'm gonna switch around. Mostly because I want you to get some last experience here. Because soon. Uh, at least in the next area, I'm not gonna actually take. Uh, I'm not actually gonna be taking. Noah with me because. He's a fire type, and fire types wouldn't be too handy in that. Because I decided against going to uh, to a rocket hideout in these videos, or the other location in Saffron City, which is not often mentioned, but often referred to at least. I'm bushed. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That you are bush? Clearly, yeah, because you're William. But well. Maybe that's what the W stands for. Enough of that. But, uh... Yeah. This, after all these trains, I think we've seen enough fire and fighting and poison types for a while. So... That's why I won't be going into... The next Rocket's... Poisonous, or... The Fighting Dojo. Or the gym, for that matter. But the gym is mainly because the Pokemon there are kind of high level compared to me, and I generally like to grind up some levels before going there. Generally did it for Koga as well, but I really wanted to add Volts to my team, so... And having Surf is really good, so... It all worked out. And that sound will just keep annoying me. But I'll deal with it. Norweezing. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work out here, so I'm instead going to switch to Royston, I guess, because special attacks on Weezing. Royston's probably also not gonna be too helpful. Because he really has horn attack to hit other water types with, but it's better than trying to use Noah, who's weak against water types. At least works and resists them. I mean, they resist him, but he resists them too, so. You resist me, and I resist you! Pokemon matchups of the same type. Are you satisfied? No! That had nothing to do with your previous quote. I hate when they do that. Can we get back before... Uh... Morrison dies, which... I think so. It would've been funnier if Morrison got burned, except... Huh. I realized, like... Morrison here has Waterville, and he can't get burned. And... Royston from... The Banjo games is able to withstand being cooked. Not once, but twice. So I guess his ability really is Waterfell. That's interesting. Hello, Chansey. <laughs> you don't have a lucky egg on you, that makes me sad, but oh well. Have fun with the Chansey in there, Noah. As long as it's still there when I get back. And I'm gonna find you there with, like, Totally beat up 
Chansey. Did you decide to use this tune to it? What am I doing? I realize I don't really need Chuding here. Actually, no, I am gonna keep Chuding with me. In case I need to come back and heal. And again, the West not be doing too much either way. I do need to take Volts as I already have, but once I reestablish that, uh, I do want to take something with strength here. <laughs> Look at Seed, I forgot all the bad things that happened. So instead of fighting a bunch of poison and fighting types, we're gonna fight a bunch of water types. Hooray! Luckily we have Troctor! That was a terrible impression of that. Again, it's still kind of light, so... But again, I mean... Oh no, I'm recording multiple episodes in a row. Mostly because I'm really enjoying this playthrough. I mean, I'm complaining about the rep repetitiveness of some situations, but I am legitimately enjoying this, so... I suppose you can take that as meaning something. Traumatic! Trainer dialogue is still totally stupid, though. They will never talk about anything relevant. But that was a no-go. Yeah, that's because this isn't Hoenn. Or maybe he just sucks at diving, I don't know which one it is. At least in this case. I mean, I know the first case applies whether you suck at diving or not, but... Oh well. Can you try door? I'm mainly going to be giving Trogdor and uh, Casey Chance here. Trogdor because he gets a lot of good matchups against these things, and Casey because. If not for the fact that I don't need any HMs in for the next Rocket business, I would not be taking him because Team Rocket loves using Poison and Psychic types, which. Casey sadly can't do too much against. See, that's my turn of thought there. <gasps> Help! From what? What's beyond the horizon? More of this planet. Say Douglas. Brr. Douglas. Brr. Douglas. Brr. Okay, no, enough of that. Every time I see Douglas, I have to do that. Which is odd because my talent flame in X and Y or in Pokemon Y was named Douglas, so somehow I managed to not do that every single time. Oh well. Tentacles! <gasps> Excitement! Yes, I add an extra letter there. I was expecting another tentacle. Guess he decided to switch things up. How? What a risky move. Critical hit when I don't need it. Again, that's sort of become the standard for this LP. Casey. Hey. I got to come that long to see me. Polywag. Which I still need to care more of. Or at least find out where I can catch a revolution. Does that really need to be healed? Yeah, that is helpful. Now I can still use my sword beams. Except those totally exist in this game, right? Oh well. Polywhirl. It's exactly the thing that I still need to be catching. Like, three of. Because Polywhirl evolves twice. 
And I need to trade one for a Jinx, so... I think that's the only Jinx you can get in third gen. No! Don't you go on standby. I should really change the electricity thing. Ooh, is that a double battle, or is that just two trainers? That's not cool. I think there might be something other than Tentacool here. It's not much more exciting, but... It, it, it's something that's not tentacle, which means I have to catch it, so... Goldie and Sea King. Casey and Trogdor. No, I really, I, I really can't do it today. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. Well, that was easy. Will, will Sea King live? Yes. So they will. Yeah, that's gonna help you. Uh, actually, that was kind of smart because Flood does more damage if you have more HP taken off of you, so. Fine, I'll give you that. Critical hit, but I don't need it! Hooray! God, that is just a running theme in this LP, isn't it? I, I get stuff when I don't need it, such as Pokemon that used to be rare. Ahoy there! These waters are treacherous. You should have said B if you were going for the pirate thing. I think Razor Leaf is neutral on these things, which is good. Mm. And again, it's not the tackle would have done much more. Uh, Razor Leaf. If I miss a trainer on this route, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Because it's a trainer on this route. I think it might be like two more after this batch of four. Tentacruel. That's, I think, the other thing that's on this route. I'm not entirely sure about that one, though. I know you can catch them in the wild in some locations, but... I'm not sure if this is one of them, but I doubt you... But, at the same time, I doubt you would only find tentacle here. Crickle head! And it actually did matter for once, for me. Yeah, you're probably gonna stick with, uh, Razor Leaf throughout this game, because... It's helped me out a lot. And I have no real reason to get rid of it, so... Oh well. As I, as I said, no real reason to get rid of it. Because it... works. What more could I want of a move? Other than it working. Alright, let's raise the leaf again. Goodbye, horsey. I'm not exactly sure how far I can get in this video, but... Oh well. This is one of the last few routes in the game, so... Once we get through here, we're pretty much done with trainers. Other than, as I said... Rocket business and... Friend. And of course it's Victory Road, but... That doesn't count as tedious trainer fighting, because some of those are actually pretty challenging. Not as challenging as it could be, points at Fire Red Omega, but... And even then, they weren't the absolute worst, though there were some that were really frickin' bad. Shocker! Yes, indeed. You've been hanging out for the whole time and search a lot, haven't you? 
What's wrong with my friends? I'm tired. Well then... Okay. Don't know what to say to that one. It's like, well then, go do something else? I don't know. I'm trying to help you here, Richard. I'm not stupid. Can I star you? No, I'll star you. I do like that my team is finally completely caught up with each other because now I can just always use whatever Pokemon I want without feeling like I'm neglecting something that I really needs to experience. So that's good. I'm not a star you. First, Charger hasn't attempted to learn any worthwhile moves yet. Oh well. <gasps> I'm exhausted. T too bad. Did you love your ride? No, you can't have it. It's my seeking. Wouldn't have been as bad as, like, asking me for Trogdor if I use Trogdor for surfing. I would be like, no! First off, it's Trogdor. Secondly, this Dratini cost me a fortune. I'm not giving it to you. Screw that idea. No, these things are not very, very threatening. So I'm not at all expecting to lose here. So yeah. Don't expect to be leaving the team here, uh... Royston, um, what? Why would you want Royston if you have a Seeking yourself? I mean, I know Royston is 10 levels higher. than male, and thus better because I'm sexist like that. Clearly, right? But yeah, like... I don't see why you would want a different one. I mean, should be kind of attached to this one, and not want another one? I don't know. Questioning NPCs for fun and profit. Without there actually being any profit. 39, agility. Agility is pretty good, but it's not something I like using, because I don't like using boosting moves in game. Other than when I actually really need them, such as in Nuzlocke and stuff like that. Actually, I didn't mean that. I mean to say that even. I meant more so men like getting getting my challenge runs mixed up. Uh, more so men like solo runs. You have something that's kind of weak. You might need to power that up. So it's often when I use boosting moves in actual like playthroughs. Otherwise, not so much. I mean, I might use a power boosting one from time to time, but definitely not agility, because agility is kind of, kind of useless. I mean, it allows you to outspeed stuff and then not do anything because it still doesn't make you strong. Like if it was Dragon Dance, and I would have actually considered it, but and then there's the fact that it barely learns any, or even if it does learn any Dragon type moves, or special, so. Well, so we're at 20 now. Swarm Berry has a shelter. And Rockdor is still using Shockwave and possibly coming through denied. <gasps> Once again, I think I made that joke already. But then again, repeating myself once more and saying there's not much else I can say. Hello, Cloyster. As stated, as stated before, at least somewhere, I do like Cloyster. But I'm not using it, obviously, because I use Seeking, which so far I'm definitely not regretting. I thought they, I thought it would be kind of mad, but it's actually pretty good. So yeah, I'd like, can't my character swim? That's actually kind of a weird thing to think about. 
What if he can't? And what if, uh... But this doesn't happen in the game, because when you program things, like... It doesn't have any effect on any chance, but what if, like, the worst thing faints and that turner just sinks like a brick? That'd be kind of funny. If not a bit tragic, seeing as both my adventure would be over and my probably my Pokemon would return with it. I don't think. I don't really see Golbat or Venusaur being good swimmers. Electabuzz, maybe. Can I like to learn Surf? There's a lot of random things that can learn Surf, especially in Generation 5. I don't think I like those as one of them, though. I don't like a ton can learn it and Snorlax. Ride on. Yeah, I don't think that is one of them. I guess Trogdor will survive. And tell Noah of what happened. He will then feel bad for not having built an Ark. Which would have avoided all of this. I don't know. I had to make an arc joke on because, yeah. There's another trainer that I'm not going to be fighting because I'm going to stop here for now. So, with that, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.